Hello, hello, successful soul. All right, let's be honest. You are ready to fully master manifestation, right? Here's the thing. You want to learn how to do it? You go, you Google, and there's literally millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of freaking answers on how to manifest. Manifest this, manifest that, manifest this, manifest Okay, it's everywhere. A lot of the things that you look up when it comes to manifesting, whether it's on YouTube or a podcast or you're in some kind of masterclass or you're reading a self-help book, a lot of the people are going to talk about your mindset. Okay, great. That's important. We need to have a positive mindset. Think and grow rich. What you think you will attract, what you think you will become. If you can dream it, you can do it. If you can see it in your mind, then it is real. 100% correct, 100% agreed. But if that's all you're doing, then you're probably not manifesting to your full potential yet. All right. Why? What is the missing piece? The missing piece may perhaps be embodiment. It's not just about mindset. It's about embodiment. Let's talk about why, what this is, and what you can be doing now to be getting results in your manifesting. Okay. So just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. There are different realms that you go in and out of every day. Now, you are probably very familiar with the physical realm, right? Because all the things you see in front of you are here in the physical. The thing about the physical realm is that it's actually the last phase of manifestation. Things need to pass energetically through the different realms before they come and appear into the physical. All right. Now, before we even get into this, let's just get to this, right? There's no little disclaimer or anything. You have to realize that nobody is a superhuman compared to anybody else. You are divine. You are amazing. You have every ability to manifest. The only thing is, the only thing that may be getting in the way of it is yourself and the way that you are thinking and perhaps not embodying. Okay. So you can do this. And just because, you know, you see certain people that are really mastering and other people are not, everybody has the same potential to do it. Okay. Just want to remind you of that. All right. So there's the physical realm. Everything, if you think about it in the physical, isn't actually who you are. The things that you experience in front of you right now is they are not who you are. They, they are who you were. All of your past actions, your past thoughts, your past feelings created this reality that you're now experiencing. If you don't like it, well, be the change you wish to see. You got to do something about it. So this is the physical realm. Everything in front of you that you see is in the physical. Next, as we move up, though, is the mental realm. When you're in the mental realm, this is where you are playing around with visualizations, using your imagination, giving yourself permission to have curiosity. Again, if you can dream it, you can do it. Cynthia, it's not real. Hell yeah, it is. How can you possibly imagine something? How can you witness it? How can you experience it in your mind if it isn't real? Just because it's not here in the physical yet doesn't mean it's not real. It just hasn't moved from your mental realm down into the physical yet. Above the mental realm is the spiritual realm. And this is really hard for us to even fathom because every single possibility, literally the realm of potentiality is how you can look at this. Everything that is anything exists in the, the, the realm of possibilities, in the spiritual realm. So what's really cool is we know nothing's created, nothing's destroyed. So you don't have to create any of these things. They already exist in the spiritual realm. You just have to align with it. So when something comes and it hits your mind, get excited because you're already in the second phase of manifestation. When you are doing the vision boards, when you are doing the journaling, when you are, you know, really daydreaming and, and, and visualizing and just all these things that you're doing in your mind, that's awesome. It's going to help you for sure to attract things to you. But if you really want to hyperspeed your results, what it's about is taking massively in line action and embodying your higher calling. See, there's a version of you that already exists. Again, you don't have to create her. She's the version of you that has the courage, the power, the strength to do all the things that you want to do because really they are already done. They already exist. You have to align with it. This version of you is what I refer to as your inner feminine beast. And when you embody her, 
You're not just thinking like her. You start feeling and acting like her. That's what we mean by embodiment. Manifesting into your energetic body and your physical body, how she's feeling emotionally and how she's taking action. This is embodiment. So there's an equation when it comes to success. And you've probably heard me say it before if you're you know, a frequent listener. But it's aligned thoughts plus aligned feelings plus aligned actions equal aligned results. Cynthia, that's a lot of aligned, 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 aligned. Why? Why isn't it just thoughts, feelings, actions? Because guess what? Poverty is a result. Illness is a result. We want aligned results. The things that you know we actually desire to manifest. Everything in front of you, whether you like it or not, you've manifested. Okay, it's not a coincidence in front of you. It shows you exactly where the, you are and the frequency of who you are. I want you to be able to give yourself permission to think bigger, to feel bigger. And how do you do this? By being her now. Embody your inner feminine beast. How does she feel? How does she act? What does that mean? Is she somebody that is going to have like these crazy confrontations and something comes up? Or is she somebody that really has courageous conversations? Is she somebody that's really reactive or is she somebody that's proactive? Is she somebody that really is just, you know, gossiping all the time or is she super compassionate and empathetic? You know what I mean? It's like, be her now. How do you invest? How do you spend? How do you dress? How do you speak? How do you love? How are you showing up? And are you doing it as the highest version of you? If you want to attract the best life possible, you have to be the woman who already is living that best life. That's the law of attraction. It's a, it's a subset law of the law of vibration. Like attracts like, which means in order to have the things you want, you have to own them and claim them now. So you can't desire something that is already yours. You can't want something that you already possess. You will have that thing you want when you really embody and make space as a person that is worthy and, you know, already living that life. You are worthy now. It's just a decision. If you were to wake up the best version of yourself today, can you look back and think about how you woke up out of bed? Did you wake up like her? Did you hit the snooze a million times? Did you put the cover over your heads? Trust me, I remember being that person. You would have the meetings about the meetings before you had the big meeting. And you're like, oh, I just don't want to do this today. Or are you like, hell yeah, bring it on today. I get to live this life. I'm going to show up as a full version of me because I know that I'm the director of my life. I write the script. And today I'm incorporating magic and miracles and manifestation in all the best ways. Let's be real. How did you start your day? It makes a difference. This is embodiment. It's springing out of your bed versus laying there for a little bit longer. It's going to the gym. Why? Because you said you were, because you care, because the best version of you doesn't just care about wealth and, and riches and manifesting materialistic things. You care about your body. You care about an overall experience because without your body, you can't experience anything. It's, it's the balance. It's the harmony. It's really being the best version of you in all areas. This is embodiment. Now I am somebody that really wants to go above and beyond. And let's talk about one of the things that we really are wanting to manifest. It's okay. All right. Because this is something that really helps all of us to be better versions of ourselves. It's money. When you have money, you can support more people. When you have money, you can be of a woman of power to really make sure that you are, you know, being intentional and supporting your communities and, and leading the right way. So I really wanted to support you. And that's why I wanted to make sure as a listener that you know what's going on February 3rd at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am hosting what's called Aligning with the Frequency of Wealth Workshop, okay? We're going to be going over all of the different things when it comes to embodying, but not just for anything, for manifesting wealth. So really, it's going to be making sure that you're aligned with your inner feminine beast so that you can match the frequency of money with flow and ease. I want to support you in visualizing and bringing money into the physical realm, you know, and as a woman who's been in business and has been really responsible for millions and millions of dollars of sales, I want to teach you too how to manifest large cash infusions. All right. That's important. So come hang out with me for that, but we'll, we'll save that for another time. I just want to make sure that you're aware that that's happening, but regardless embodiment, is that 
that piece of the formula that you may be missing when it comes to manifesting. It's not just thinking, hoping, praying, meditating. It's choosing to show up in your physical world by bringing the energy from the mental into the physical, by taking aligned action and being her now that you are going to make a difference, a huge ripple effect in the physical realm. So if you're tired of meditating all day and you're not manifesting, now is the time to hold yourself accountable, to do the work, to be in the vibration of a woman who's already living the end result now. This is embodiment work. This is what I love teaching. This is what I have mastered. And this is what we're going to be talking about again on February 3rd. Any questions, definitely reach out to my team. I'd love to invite you, invite you I can talk, <laughs> invite you to join us inside the Spiritual Success uh, Sorority Facebook group where we can answer all of your questions. We want to get to know you, handpick you know, several podcast episodes for you, YouTube videos, special trainings. And we even want to come up and create content that you're interested in learning. I don't like to create stuff that I think you like. I want to create things that I know you like. So come join us inside that group. We'll tell you all you need to know about the upcoming workshop. And in the meantime, acknowledge it, embrace it, see it through.